In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to log into MateSmart for the first time and choose a database. I'll begin by starting MateSmart from the Windows Start button. And initially we'll see the MateSmart splash screen. Okay, we're getting the license screen showing up. And I'm just going to click continue on that. Okay, so here is where we choose the database. Now for the purposes of learning how to use MateSmart, we'll go ahead and start with the demo sample manufacturing database, which is chosen by default. So we'll click the Use Demo Database button, and MateSmart will present us with a login screen. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Login. The user ID for the demo database is admin and the password is pre-populated for you at the demo database but it's one two three four so I'll click login and MateSmart starts up now let me recenter the screen here okay so we're logged into MateSmart as indicated by the key at the far right side of the button bar top of the screen so I'm going to go ahead and go into the program configuration screen first. I'll click on that icon. And we're going to look at this first tab, configuration. And here we see the connection string. Now this string is just a, a bunch of characters that probably don't mean a lot to the average user. But essentially this is how the MateSmart program knows how to connect to the database that we've chosen. We also have some other information here, company name, uh, the equipment hierarchy, this will be covered in another video, and then we have additional tabs that will also be covered in another video. So in this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead since we're here and demonstrate how to connect to a different database. So I'm going to click Set database location. MateSmart is going to warn me that we'll need to shut down the program after we change the database connection. And we'll have to do that. And now if I want to choose a different database, I can either choose the default access databases or I can pick a SQL Server database. So I'll try the SQL Server. I'm going to leave this default setting. I'll go to the connection tab. Type in the server name. In this case, I'll just use Windows Integrated Security. And I'm not even sure if that's the right database name, but let's try it. Okay, it says it's not, so I'm going to go change that. And yeah, we'll try something else here. Okay test connection okay test connection succeeded so at this point we are connected to a SQL Server database I'll click OK and MateSmart is going to close after I click the OK button again and when we restart MateSmart we'll then be connected to the SQL Server database 